All right, so I know a lot of you are expecting a final chapter here. I've been waiting patiently for the final result here on this Nintendo Super System, but I'm waiting on side art. Uh, it's a very arduous process. There is some available out there right now, but it's not accurate, so it's currently being accurized, if that's the word. And once it's done, I'll get this project uh, done. But for now, it's been sitting here because I'm waiting on, waiting on artwork to get this done. But in the meantime, I have acquired an all-original gauntlet. And when I say all original, I mean, well, just that, all original, except for the monitor. It originally was a 70, I'm sorry, a 4900 that was replaced with a 7000. But that's not really that important. What is important is that everything on here is original as far as controls, artwork, buttons, everything. I mean, this is the original side art. It's got some pieces peeled off over the years, but original side art, not faded, not gouged up, not missing big chunks, not damaged for the most part. Original control panel overlay, a bit yellowed, but that's expected uh, over the years. Um, just otherwise, there's a couple of scratches, but not anything worth uh, or warranting a replacement. Original Atari sticks with the logos in them and everything. Original buttons, original switches. There is a little protector piece here that you can see used to go to right there, and this piece here is broken off. And then on this side, it's broken off all the way around up to here. Not a big deal. Um, I kind of like the patina of having it missing, so I may just leave it that way. Uh, but the original bezel here with the logo and all this stuff, it's, it's just really in fantastic original shape. Even the front here. There's a little gouge right there. But otherwise, it's, a, it's, it's just as yellowed as the CPO. But except for that little gouge, it's really in phenomenal condition. So an all-original gauntlet. Been wanting one of these for a while. Uh, this side as well, a eh, little pieces peeled off here and there. But like I say, this is the original artwork. From how many years ago is this? Uh, I think 35 years now, give or take, 36 years. But, yep. The only thing that is not original on this machine, that looks like we're missing a screw here. I didn't notice that till just now. Eh, no big deal. The only thing that's not original is the monitor. This originally was a 4900 and someone installed a 7000 little frame thing here, which is fine. Not a big deal at all. They took out the 4900 tube and, and everything and, and threw in here a 7000 tube, the small neck 7, seven pin, to be, to be uh, more accurate. Uh, but it's uh, working. It has, when I say it, <laughs> I'll say it again, original. Uh, original caps, original white knob flyback, and some type of jury rigging here on the, the ground, the, the dag ground, but not a big deal. I have to pull this and throw in one that's already been rebuilt and rebuilt this one later, but I'll close the garage door here in a minute so you can see how good the monitor actually looks just the way that it is. Uh, then we have the original power supply, uh, PCB mounted in here, looking good. Sorry for the bad lighting, there you go. Uh, it's not in bad shape, nothing is leaked all over it, everything is original. It really is just a, a very good example of an original uh, gauntlet. So, not dirty, very clean, except for some dust. So I need to change, I need to change out the power supply uh, and get a rebuilt uh, chassis in here to replace this one and then rebuild this one at a later time. But other than that, this thing is just pretty much in great condition. So I need to replace some of the T-molding here, it looks like. Not a big deal. But let's go ahead and close the old garage door here and take a further look at this thing here. It's still all dusty. Okay, yeah, I mean, for being an original 7000 that's been untouched as far as I can tell, original caps and flyback and all that stuff, it's working great. Let's see. Welcome, warrior. Welcome, Valkyrie. Welcome, wizard. Welcome, elf. And... Yep. Uh, do I have any... I don't have any magic to start. Yeah, I do. Okay, so magic works. Fire. Fire. 
No magic. Fire, no magic. All right. So, this should clean up quite nicely. So I wanted to show that we got this now. Um, it's going to be a great addition to the collection. And it'll be on location at the arcade very soon. I need to get a new screw for here. I need to replace that chassis, get this one rebuilt later. Get that new power supply installed, get it cleaned up, wiped down, new locks installed. And that'll be pretty much it. It's nice to finally get one that doesn't require a whole lot of work. Um, but, uh, of course, I need some touch up here, it looks like, too. But not a big deal. This <laughs> With that Simpsons machine and the Aerosmith and this uh, Super System cabinet, it's nice to finally get one that doesn't need very much at all. And I can just put it right after cleaning it up and doing the little things here and there. Put it right out for people to play. So it's nice to finally get that. I need to change the dip switches to uh, a much lower health amount because that's way too high for out there on the free play. Uh, little kids come up and we'll just... Oh, I guess uh, you can only do it once, but I want to change this down to, I think, 500. Whatever the lowest amount of health is, I want to change it down to that. Um, that get it torn apart, get it cleaned up, and it should, should be a very nice addition. So, just wanted to show that off. Uh, I picked this up in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, as a matter of fact. Uh, about two and a half hours from where I'm at. Not a big deal. A little quick uh, five-hour trip up there or down there and back and uh, we got ourselves an original survivor gauntlet so thanks for watching stay tuned for a finalization here on how this all cleans up and that should be a very easy thing to get done and then I'm still waiting on hoping to get my artwork here very soon as we've seen before um, that's all this is really waiting on I need to do all the electronics swap over and stuff too which we'll do as a final part. This has been sitting here ever since I finished the last part, just waiting for artwork. Then we can continue on. So, I mean, as you can, sorry for the light there. Uh, I don't have any way to block it, but except for that, it's uh, all done, which we've all seen. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, but I wanted to do, make a quick video here to show off the gauntlet and just how awesome it is. I mean, this is, I, I'm, I'm, half t I'm half tempted to just leave this here until it dies because of how good it looks. There's not really any reason to mess with it other than just kind of a preservation aspect. But I've got a whole bunch of the 7-pin uh, 7000s for the 19-inch ready to go. I could drop one in, but I'm half tempted to just leave this the way that it is and clean it up because it doesn't need caps. It looks fantastic the way that it is. There's not even any screen burn on it. If I turn off the uh, machine there, it's other than being dirty. I mean, there's not even a hint the slightest hint of screen burn anywhere on this thing so that's another added added bonus now again this is not the original tube the original tube was a 4900 that got yanked out at some point in the past and now that i'm saying this um i've got let's see one two three i got three 4900s just sitting here i may well now these have some pretty significant screen burn on them I didn't even think about that till just now as well. These have some pretty significant screen burn. Maybe, well, I've got some more downstairs too. If I can find one of these that I have as a spare that doesn't have any screen burn like this, I may just put a 4900 back in here so it can be all correct for period accuracy. I may end up doing that, so stay tuned to see how that turns out. But anyway, uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. I'm super excited to be able to finally get one of these that doesn't need a bunch of work. And with the prices of these things increasing, with uh, middle-aged guys like myself getting older and getting more disposable income, these the prices for these things are just skyrocketing. You know, people are asking like a thousand dollars for a Killer Instinct board nowadays. A thousand dollars for a Killer Instinct board—that's just—it's always been expensive, but it's just getting ridiculous nowadays. But anyway, so yep. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see how this turns out on the backside.